journal report. We're, we might spend a little bit more time on the journal report later, but if I open this up and check it out, close in this, I'm going to go from 010122 to 123122 and run it. Notice that this report gives you uh, gives you all the information in a journal entry format. So quite nice report if you want to basically see what has been done over a certain period. And you can also try to look at the debits and credits by by looking at each of the forms that were entered and then trying to see what the actual journal entry is, not just from an increase and decrease perspective, but from a debit and credit perspective. You might also use this form for billing purposes to try to count the number of journal entries and try to say I'm going to bill based on uh, the number of journal entries. This is a great report for for reviewing as a supervisor, for example, to see what other people have done, because you could say, what have they done in terms of data input over this time frame? You can see the types of transactions that they're using. It's also a type of useful report to sort by transaction type, because you have all these different types of transactions and you can focus in on, say, invoices and whatnot and see what the standard journal entries are for, say, an invoice. So I'm going to go back up. Now, the reason it might be an accountant report here is because it has a debit and credit column. So anything with a debit and credit column is probably put in this category by QuickBooks because QuickBooks is going to try to make the data input as easy as possible without debits and credits.